That was, of course, a group called To Die For, Dying To Live. Well, I was looking today at Isaiah 33, verse number 6, and it reminds us as well as the Lord is going to be our firm foundation. Now, that is such a wonderful place to be, especially with the ebb and flow of life. And sometimes it feels like life is driving you instead of you driving life. So it's very important to make sure that the Lord is your firm foundation. Also as well to remember about the fact that God has already supplied us with all the power that we need. And he also gives us two wonderful avenues in which we can base our lives. First of all, there is the Word of God. Spending time with God's Word every day is a wonderful insulation and also a antidote to the toxicity of the world. And then secondly, spending time with the Lord and saying, Lord, this is what's happening in my situation. And the Lord will come and he will remind you, as we have here in our scripture, Isaiah 33, verse number six, reminding us that the Lord is our firm foundation. We need that today because there seems to be everything changing around us, but there's one constancy, one consistency, and that's the Lord. So, Father, thank you today for the wonderful consistency and constancy. Thank you, Lord, that you are our firm foundation. And thank you, Lord, today that no matter what we face, you are with us. It's such a great thing to know today. And I know that, Lord, we need that today because, Lord, you are so good. And thank you, Lord, for the Word of God, which is, of course, our antidote and also our cleansing agent when it comes to the stain, the pollution of the world. And thank you, Lord, for the avenue of prayer where we can bring our needs and our concerns, our anxieties, our fears. We can bring it all to you and say, Lord, here it is, and I'm out to receive your wonderful assurance. Lord, thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The last episode of the Dave